Hi everybody, my name is Jason. I'm Caden. I'm Jaden. I'm Eli. And we are the Yahoo and the Torah.net YouTube channel. And we are the Yahoo and the Torah.net website where you will find all sorts of, a lot of resources, a lot of free resources. Everything there is free. And we are your family and you guys are our family. We thank you very, very much for hanging out with us on a first day here. And um, as you can see from this guy falling out of the sky right here, a lot of times in life we encounter things that we are mere humans that have been made by an awesome creator. We encounter things that uh, scare us, frankly. Things that are too much for us to take. Things that will humble us, things that will break us, things that are out of our control. And it seems like a lot of times this is the world that all of us are into right now. You know, as we talk to a lot of our brothers and sisters out there, you guys, a lot of you guys are having issues. You know, some folks are having their hours cut. Some people are, are stuck in the middle of Babylon all around with pagan stuff everywhere and trying to figure out their way, trying to figure out their next step, trying to figure out where they're going. Right now, we're struggling in our life with one of our furry friends that is very, very sick, that is on literally death's door, and we've been trying for a very long time to try to save him. And we always are praying for a miracle, and we're always praying for the courage that we're able to make this. And we're praying that, that life is going to work out. And even though we know that the future for our furry friend is very grim, we still have a faith and we still have a trust in our creator and knowing that whatever the outcome is, our creator is good. Whatever the outcome is of everything, no matter what bad stuff is happening to us in our lives, there's a, a, an understanding that we need to trust our creator in everything. And when we lose that trust and we lose that hope and we lose that, then life becomes even far worse than what it is. And so today's lesson is all about trust. We're starting in Hebrews 6, verse 13, Sean. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is today's reading. Hebrews 6, 13 is where it begins. For Elohim, having promised Abraham, since he could swear by no one greater, swore by himself, saying, truly, Baraka, I Barak you, and increasing... I shall increase you. And so after being patient, he obtained the promise. For men do indeed swear by one greater, and an oath for confirmation is for them uh, an end of all dispute. In this way, Elohim, resolving to show even more clearly to heirs of promise the unchangeableness of his purpose, confirmed by it by an oath, so that, so that two unchangeable matters in which it is impossible for Elohim to lie, we might have strong encouragement. We who have fled for refuge to lay hold of the expectation put before us, which we have as an anchor of the Kai, both safe and firm, and entering into that within the veil. Whereas Yahushua has entered as a forerunner for us, having become Kohen and Hagdal forever, according to the order of the Melchizedek. Today's lesson is called Absolutely Trustworthy. And if you guys are reading with us in scriptures in a Bible in a year, <clears throat> Today's reading is in Genesis 33 through 35 and Matthew 10, 1 through 20. Hebrews 10, 23 says, For he who promised is trustworthy. A young paratrooper admitted that he had been frightened the first time he jumped. There was nothing but a big piece of fabric between him and death. What if the fabric accidentally tore apart? What if his ripcord didn't work and the parachute failed to open? But when he jumped, everything functioned perfectly. Supported by that life-preserving umbrella over his head, the man floated earthward. He said, I had a release from fear and a marvelous feeling of exhilaration. What about the promises Yahuwah makes in the Bible? Will they uphold us in times of crisis? It all depends on whether we believe them to be Yahuwah's promises, not merely printed words, black marks on white paper, nor simply the guesses of fallible human beings like ourselves. Because they are the promises of Yahuwah, we can cling to them with assurance. This will bring relief from fear and impart a deep inner peace. Throughout the ages, our Elohim has, trusted million, has been trusted by millions upon millions of times by people, and he has never proven untrustworthy. So let's trust him today and add our personal testimony to that of the countless host of fellow believers who have found that our promise-keeping Yahuwah is unfailingly faithful. Reflect and pray. Standing on the promises that cannot fail, 
when the howling storms of doubt and fear assail. By the living word of Yah, I shall prevail, standing on the promises of Yahuwah. Trusting Yahuwah's faithfulness dispels our fearfulness. Every time that uh, one of the ch people that was Yahuwah's people that believed in him, whenever they went to war, they went to battle, they had trolls in their lives, but they were trustworthy, they would win that fight, they would win that battle, they would... Uh, they were, they were defended by Yahuwah because they were of their belief. But if they didn't believe and they trusted on men, they would fail. So when you believe on Yahuwah, he is there to protect you and he is there to guide you. Yeah. And that just goes, that doesn't just go for the times past and in, in back in the days. This is now. When all of the people back in the days, and you can read the book of Maccabees, where they, they were outnumbered, they were undergunned, they were going to get annihilated, they were going to get hurt. And there was, it was very few versus very, very many. And when you have the faith in Yahuwah, when you have the courage to call on him, when you have the strength, he will deliver the strength to you and he will not fail us. He will not fail you. He will not fail me. He will walk with us hand in hand. Even though in this house we are broken, we are just devastated that our little furry friend is gone, going to be gone very, very soon. We have the courage that we know that our Elohim lives and that he loves us and he loves you. And so when these trials in life, when these struggles, when these winds and wane and the storms of life have taken us, then understand that trusting Yahuwah's faithfulness dispels our fearfulness. All right, guys. We love you all. Have a good day. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.